from Raymond, New Hampshire, in the number in the number 16. 17 is inside of the third row, Kyle Valeri from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And alongside of him will be the number 53 for Dylan Kutu from Griswold, Connecticut. Kutu in the 53. Next up is the number 10, Avery Store. We saw Avery have mechanical problems when leading the NEMA feature a little while ago. Now he's out here in his NEMA light ride, the Parker Brothers number 10, starting alongside Chase Locke from Chester, New Hampshire. Chase Locke in the number one. 21 is next, Joey Bailey from Monroe Township, New Jersey, in the famous Scrivani number 21. Starting alongside the man we just saw win the NEMA feature, the dangerous one, Paul Scally. Scally trying to double up here this afternoon in his number 30 for this NEMA light main event. 35, next up is the guy we saw finish second in the NEMA feature, Randy Cabrera. We saw her win her heat earlier this afternoon. And the other heat winner starts alongside Albie Ovitt, the current point leader in the Parker Brothers number 20. Set to go green for 60 laps. These are the NEMA lights. Here they come. Green flag. Tiana Kibbe leads them down the backstretch and through the third and fourth turn, and she will lead lap number one. Being chased by Albi Ovid. Ovid right there in second, and here comes Danny Cugini in the 61. Cugini with a good run going. He's a winner earlier in this season. Won the opening race for the NEMA Lights at the Monadnock Speedway in 2023. Trying to get back to victory lane. He is challenging Alby Ovid. Ovid is second. Danny Cugini is third. Several car lengths back and forth is the 53 of Dylan Kutu. And Kyle Valeri. Rounds out the top five in the number 17. It's been all Tiana Kibbe in the opening stages of this race, and she leads another lap. Here's Danny Cugini taking another run at second place. Trying to get to the outside of Alby Ovid. Cugini again going to the high side. Sweeps it through three and four, and he is now in second. Danny Cugini going for more as he gets to the outside of Tiana Kibbe in the race for the lead. Bugini challenging. Again up on the outside. Can he make the pass? Kibby holds on. Bugini now again. Doing it the hard way around on the outside. This time he has cleared Tiana Kibby and he's the new leader. Danny Cugini goes to the lead. And starts to pull away. Tiana Kibbe in second. Albie Ovid for third. Dylan Kutu is fourth. Kyle Valeri is fifth. And a pretty good battle for the sixth spot between Braden Egan and the 29 of Jake Trainer. Avery Store is off. Store in the infield in the number 10. Two main events and two DNFs for Avery Store. Mike Pernasiglio is out in the 47. Bugini has set sail in that number 16. He now leads by a half a straightaway and continues to drive away.
Fujini will encounter the first of the back markers and put the 55 of Drew Eldridge down a lap, or will attempt to anyway, going through the third and fourth turn. Pretty good race from second on back. Tiana Kibbe's got it right now, being chased by Albi Ovid, Dylan Kutu, Kyle Valeri. There is a move by Dylan Kutu on the inside of Ovid. And Dylan Kutu goes to third. Kyle Valeri fourth. Jake Trainer up to fifth. And Albi Ovid shuffled all the way back to sixth in that number 20. Deanna Kibbe pushes up the racetrack. That opens up the bottom, and Dylan Kutu goes by. Now Kutu trying to contend with the lap car of Drew Eldridge, the 55. Danny Cugini's opened it up to a straightaway lead. Kutu is second. Kyle Valeri is third. Tiana Kibbe back to fourth. And trouble in the first and second turn. The number eight up there is Ethan Dion. Some smoke coming off that car and he is stopped between the third and fourth turn and it brings out our first caution flag with 20 laps complete, we're a third of the way through, and this will negate the big lead that Danny Cugini had in the number 16. Cugini was out front by a straightaway. Dylan Kutu had moved up to second in the 53. Kyle Valeri, third in the 17. Now Danny Cugini coming to a stop up on the racetrack right by the exit from the pit area. Don't know if that's a mechanical problem. No, he's able to uh, get it refired momentarily. And our leader could be in trouble as the car is stopped on the bottom of the racetrack at the entrance of turn three. Report from the scene is that there's something broken in the front of that car and may have to go on the hook. What a disappointment for the O'Brien team as at least in the early stages of this race, Danny Cugini had him covered with that number 16. He'd opened up a straightaway lead and now is in danger in, of going off on the hook. So Dylan Kutu inherits the lead in the number 53. Kyle Valeri second in the 17. They continue to work on the uh, 16 of Danny Cugini, but he's run out of time to repair the car. So we'll have to get him started without him. A tough break for the guy that was leading by a straightaway. So now our new leader is Dylan Kutu. Picked up his first ever NEMA light win last year and looking to break back into victory lane. He's got Kyle Valeri right alongside who won his first ever earlier this season. Here they come for the restart. Green flag. Kutu for the lead. And here comes Jake Trainer. Trainer on the outside of Kyle Valeri takes over second. Now gives chase to Dylan Kutu. Two leads. 
Trainer is second. Kyle Valeri in the 17 is third. The 94 of Tiana Kibbe is fourth. Albi Ovid fifth in the number 20. And just outside the top five, Joey Bailey and P.J. Sturgis. It's all Dylan Kuto right now. He's opened up the lead by about six, call it seven car lengths, maybe even eight at this point. He continues to drive away from Jake Trainer, who runs second. Kyle Valeri in third, and those three have checked out from the rest of the field. Tiana Kibbe still with a great run going in the fourth spot in the 94. Coming up on the halfway mark. Dylan Kutu, very comfortable lead. Jake Trainer unable to close on him. Kyle Valeri in the third spot. And those three are equally distanced apart. Pretty good battle for fourth now between Tiana Kibbe in the 94 and P.J. Sturgis in the four. As they go under the cross flags, halfway through the Nema light feature. Thirty-one down, twenty-nine to go. And it's time for the twenty-nine to go. If he's going to roll in Dylan Kutu, he's got to get up on the wheel because Kutu's got a pretty good lead. Now, Kutu's got to deal with Drew Eldridge, the lap car, and he chooses to go inside of him. Trainer will do the same, as will Kyle Valeri. Separation is by six tenths, call it five and a half tenths. Now trouble for Albi Ovid in the 20. The point leader is out. Both of the Parker Brothers cars, after each of them winning their heats, they are out of the main event. Jake Trainer going as hard as he can, trying to catch Dylan Gutu, but Gutu is hooked up today. Right now enjoying his biggest lead, seven tenths of a second over Jake Trainer. Valeri continues in the third spot. PJ Sturgis is fourth. Tiana Kibbe is fifth. Joey Bailey is sixth. Braden Egan is seventh. Trainer has shaved a tenth off of Kutu's lead, but the laps wind down. Just 20 laps to go right now. We'll check the separation this time between first and second as they come across the stripe. And no, Kutu picked up that tenth again over Jake Trainer.
Dylan Kutu totally hooked up here this afternoon. Able to drive his line, hit his marks, and maintain a very comfortable lead. His biggest lead of the afternoon right now, eight tenths over Jake Trainer. 16 laps to go. I'm sure Jake Trainer going as hard as he can. Now the issue for Dylan Kutu is going to be a lot of the back markers that he's coming upon now. Got a lot of lap traffic he's got to negotiate. Kutu's got to work his way around the lap traffic and that'll be an advantage for Jake Trainer. Trainer can see that Kutu is now trying to get around Randy Cabral, and oh, he gets down in the dirt. Could not make the pass on Cabral, and that allows Jake Trainer to close in. Tutu Kutu got two wheels in the dirt, but recovered nicely and continues to drive away. So Kutu, driving beyond his years, negotiated that lap traffic and gets back to a very comfortable lead with only 10 laps to go. Jake Trainer feeling the heat from Kyle Valeri in the number 17 and Jake's team car, the number four, PJ Sturgis right there. Eight laps to go this time. Now a second and a half over Jake Trainer, so he continues to drive away. He's got another gaggle of cars and trouble. Trouble for the number one of Chase Locke. Caution flag is out. Yellow comes out. Trouble for the number one of Chase Locke. Stopped up on the high side in turn number four. This is not what Dylan Kutu wanted to see. As he was about to complete the 53rd lap in the number 53, the caution comes out and will negate that second and a half lead that he had over Jake Trainer. Can Dylan Kutu maintain that kind of speed when we get back to green flag racing? If we could have Jason Welch, please go to the souvenir booth. Jason Welch to the souvenir booth, please. All right. The two-time and defending champion, Jake Trainer, will start alongside the young Dylan Kutu, trying to win only his second race in the NEMA Lights. With 52 laps complete, here they come. Green flag. Kutu gets a good jump at the start. Trainer trying to hold off Kyle Valeri and Trainer's teammate PJ Sturgis in the number four. But Kutu is right back at it. That car is hooked up today. Dylan Kutu back into a comfortable lead. Jake Trainer for second, Kyle Valeri third. P.J. Sturgis fourth, and Braden Egan round out the top five. Five laps to go. Dylan Kutu not only survived the restart, but continues to drive away from one of the hottest drivers in the NEMA lights. We're talking about Jake Trainer. Trainer can do nothing with him. And now with just three laps to go for young Dylan Kutu.
He's opened up that lead to almost a half a straightaway. That car is on rails here this afternoon. Two laps to go. Dylan Kutu, very happy to see the white flag right now. One more to go. I'm sure butterflies in the stomach of that young driver in the number 53. He's got a half a lap to get it done and pick up only his second win in the NEMA lights as he guides out of turn four. Dylan Kutu will win it. Jake Trainer for second, Kyle Valeri third, P.J. Sturgis fourth, Braden Egan fifth, followed by the 21 of Joey Bailey and Paul Scally. Scally finishes seventh, Tiana Kibbe eighth, Randy Cabral ninth, Matt O'Brien tenth. Dylan Kutu picks up his second ever NEMA light win, the young driver from Connecticut. And he'll have to be instructed as to how to get to victory lane. He will be excited as he was the class of the field here this afternoon, and we will talk to him in victory lane. All right, thank you very much, Pete. We'll get you down there in Coastal Auto Parts Victory Lane once again. As we have completed our support division races this afternoon at Wiscasset Speedway, and they will make the trip around Victory Lane Road and meet us here in Coastal Auto Parts Victory Lane and give you a chance to meet our top three drivers up close. in one of the most unique victory lanes you'll find in the business. We've come trackside to talk to our winner and a very, very excited Dylan Kutu, winner of the NEMA Light main event. His second ever win, congratulated by his dad. Very happy family here this afternoon as Dylan drives the wheels off that number 53. Well, we're gonna wait till he gets the helmet off so we can get a few words from him down here in the Coastal Auto Parts Victory Lane as uh, he really, uh, was uh, really hooked up here this afternoon and survived that late race restart. Not only survived the restart, but drove away from a couple of the hottest drivers in the division, including Jake Traner and uh, Kyle Valeri. And he is uh, about to get the, uh, the helmet off and the, the head and neck restraint. <laughs> He's got the... Uh, the earplugs taped in with real scotch tape. Okay, there he is. Dylan Kutu, our winner in the NEMA Lights. Tell us about it. Oh man, I really can't believe this right now. You know, a couple months ago, I don't know if any of you in here know, I was involved in a wreck at the Hudson Speedway and I had a couple fractured vertebrae. This is my third race with this car. So to hold off, to hold off defending champion and little 500 winner Jake Trainer on that late race restart is, is truly amazing. I got two wins and Jake Trainer finished second in both of them. <laughs> well, you got to be really excited. Tell us for a second what was going through your mind when that caution flag came out with about eight laps to go and knew those guys would be right on you. Oh, it was it was already nerve-wracking before that because I didn't I didn't know how far back Trainer was, so I, I I was just assuming he's right there. So I was just trying to make no mistakes, telling myself not to just hit my marks and not mess up because I knew if I did that, that I'd be hard to pass. So you know I just can't thank everyone enough. I can't thank my mom and dad, my Mimo and Poppy, First American Home Loans, Horse Power Batting Cages, uh, Five Star Racewear, Excel Sports, and Gary Gagne. Well, congratulations to you and your entire family. An awesome win here this afternoon. Thank you. Dylan Kutu picks up his second ever NEMA feature win, the NEMA Lights. And here's the guy he was just 
given a lot of accolades to because uh, he beat you and he's pretty excited about the fact that not only won but he beat Jake Trainer. you finished second how was it Ah, uh, man, we were just broadside. Uh, I used up, uh, I think, a little too much just to get up to second. Um, it's just tough coming from the back, um, but hats off to Dylan. Um, he had a hell of a drive. Um, had us covered tonight. Uh, nothing we could do. Um, great drive by him. Congratulations on second place. Thank you. The two-time and defending champion right there, Jake Trainer, comes home second. And third place, another podium finish for Kyle Valeri in the number 17, having a word with his dad, who I'm sure is just as excited as you are with another podium finish. This is awesome. I can't thank my dad enough for giving me this opportunity and this great racetrack for having us. All the fans out here, thank you guys for coming out. What a race this was, 60 laps, it was a lot of fun. I'm whooped, the car's good, everything's one piece. Congrats to these guys, Dylan for winning, everything. It's just awesome. Thank you. Congratulations to you on third place. Thank you as well. Kyle Valeri comes home in third, and Dylan Kutu with big hugs over there from the family as uh, he picks up his second ever Nima Light win in fine fashion, dominant fashion here this afternoon in that number 53. And that concludes the uh, Nima portion of the program. We want to thank you all very much. Thank uh, Wiscasset Speedway for their hospitality.